Good morning, everybody. Yes, it's Eugene Bear. I've kind of have my uh, prayer shawl on that my sister sent me, and I have my menorah that my sister purchased for me at my request. She's blessed me many times over and over and over again. I have my uh, flashcards on today, Alif and Sev or Ty or Tev, different ways of saying first and last in Hebrew letters. And these two letters are in the first line of the Torah, the first line of Genesis in Hebrew, the first and the last. One, and I really don't remember or know the numerical value of the 22nd letter, uh, whether it's 100, 200, 300, or 400. It's in the hundreds. That's how you mathematically, numerically do the figures of Hebrew, 1 through 10, 10 through 90, and then 100, 200, 300, 400, till you get to the... 22nd letter, plus five, five letters were added after the original 22. Clean filtered water out of the filter machine here in Phoenix, Arizona for a quarter, for a gallon of drinking water. And then I Breda filter it again. So this is greatly, uh, greatly filtered water. Greatly filtered what? Pure and clean water. Uh, Reading from Psalms today, that's why I have my prayer shawl on, Psalms 38. So if you have your Bibles handy, please turn to Psalm 38 as I take a drink of pure, clean water. And that's how the Lord wants our conscience, is pure and clean conscience inside. Uh, as I have my sleeping cap on, it is uh, 3 a.m. in the morning, and I'm going back to sleep here after this teaching. But I get up in the quietness, I sit in the quietness, and meditate on the Word of God, read the Word of God. The Word of God is above His power and authority and name. I think we're going to read that here in Psalm 138. So I have, for you people that like the look, I've got my sleeping cap on, my sleeping t-shirt. I have the Alif and the Tev, uh, the first and the last and the letters in Hebrew. I'm reading from the Old Testament, Psalms, Psalms 138. I will praise thee with my whole heart, and I am the teacher that makes one word out of two words, heart, mind, mind, heart. And we will read later, soul, spirit, spirit, soul. And in Hebrews, the spirit and the soul are one. They are connected. And the only thing that divides spirit and soul is the sharp, two-edged word of God can divide asunder thoughts and intents of the heart and the joints and the marrow and the spirit, soul, or the soul, spirit, and the heart, mind. Uh, the whole heart, before the gods, many gods of wood that can't speak, will I sing praise to thee, the one God, the one Lord of Ephesians 4, one Lord, one God, one Father. Okay, I will worship toward thy holy temple, uh, that's in heaven. Uh, in fact, I think in Revelation it says the ark was seen in heaven. Uh, I will worship toward the holy temple and praise thy name or authority or power or glory light. For thy loving kindness and for thy truth. The number one good doing is speaking truth with your neighbor. If you need True Witness, two verses of Scripture, Ephesians, fourth chapter, verse 15 and verse 25. And there are other verses about God's spirit, word, truth, the Holy Spirit of truth. And don't forget the truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name or authority. 
The word of God, the truth word of God is magnified above all thy name or authority. I add authority. In the day when I cried, thou answered, answered, the, answer, answered, <laughs> A-N-S-W-E-R-E-D-S-T. That's a hard one to say. Uh, me, and strengthenest, strengthenest, I got it, me with strength in my soul spirit. Remember I was saying earlier, heart, mind, and soul spirit. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord. This is the same Lord God of Genesis 2-4. When they hear the words of thy mouth, yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord for great. There's nothing greater than great. Great is great, 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 great. Great is the glory. And at glory here, the word glory, you know your hope. Colossians 1.27, Christ in me, the hope of glory, and add the gospel of John 17.24, Father, that those that you have given me might be with me where I am and behold my glory. It's about an inheritance being with the Lord. He is our inheritance. We are his inheritance, bringing many saint sons to glory. Immortality dwelling in the light. For great is the glory of the Lord God, same Lord God, the creator of Genesis 2-4. Thou, O Lord, be high or El Yan, highest, high, highest, the second singular title, the first singular title, El, that I put over the, the is a wasted sp space in New Testament scripture. So I write God El Father, not God the Father. Oh, I put El over the top of the. Okay, high, highest, El Yan, that's why you need to know El Yan, El, Eloa, Elohim, El Shaddai. Elohim and El Shaddai are singular plurals. The first three are singulars. God is singular. God is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Even though there are seven spirits in Revelation, those are the seven manifestations of the one God as he pours out judgment or deals with his creation in different situations, in different ways. There's one high one in the middle between my eyes and over my nose and over my mouth. One. <laughs> Menorah. <laughs> and I'm a Gentile in a prayer shawl with the first and the last in Hebrew on my chest. Hallelujah. Instead of 12 stones representing the 12 tribes. James was written to the 12 dispersed tribes, Jewish believers. There are letters to particular cities, particular people, and they are named like Titus. And there are particular books and verses of the written word of God to Israel alone. And there is a book written to us, Ephesians, the Gentiles. Read the third chapter of Ephesians. Back to Psalms 138 and verse 6. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respected, has respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Actually, he doesn't want to know the wicked. I don't like it. Oh, God hates sin, but loves the sinner. That's, that's man think, man-centeredness thinking. God can hate. God can hate and eliminate a whole wicked pagan nation because they sacrifice their babies. All right. Uh, and uh, the judgment's coming to the United States because of abortion. Verse 7, though I walk in the midst of trouble, 
Hmm, kind of reminds me of the 23rd Psalms. Psalm, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. The word revive, renew, regenerate, revive. Titus 3, 5, you need to read that. And you are made clean, bathed, washed, inside, without hands, without rituals, without traditions, without menorah, ka and without prayer shawl, or a sleeping cap, or glasses on your nose, or a brass key around your neck to remind you of the spiritual door open in heaven, a leaf and tev, first and last, author and finisher, the beginning and the end. God will have the last say. It's his creation to do with as he pleases. He will make from the same lump of clay vessels of honor and from the same lump of clay a vessel for destruction to show his power and strength to his creation. Pharaoh was such a vessel, and he chose 12 and knew that Judas would open his heart to Satan and that Judas was a vessel for destruction. He hung himself. Okay, verse 7 and 8, and I'm finished at 11 and a half minutes. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt, thou wilt re, King James 16, 11, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thy hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand, right hand is in Hebrew and in many places in Scripture, showing the power, the authority, the glory light of God. Thy right hand shall save me, shall shew me. The Lord will, King James says perfect, the correct word is complete. The Lord will complete that which he that which concerns me or each of us. Thy mercy, O Lord, mercy took its place in First Timothy, Second Timothy, Titus, and Second John. In the Revised Standard, mercy is not between grace and peace, but for the fourth, but it is between First and Second Timothy and Second John in the RSV. In King James, it's also in Titus. Mercy takes its place between peace, between grace and peace. Forsake not the workings of thine hands, thy own hands, uh, and the working of thine own hands of the Lord God is Elohim creation. And we were created by God to go through a time of maturity and testing so that he might bring us to his glory light, immortality dwelling in the light, eternal life with God who is infinite. We love him. We praise him. We sing praise to him because that is the number one sacrifice. No longer animal blood sacrifice does he desire. Read Hebrews. No longer human sacrifice. One human, one time. The human blood, once for all, forever, dealt with the sin barrier, ransom payment, took it down. The human blood went into the mercy seat, was placed on all four corners of the ark and on the ground before the ark to represent the life in the spilt blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I must go at 14 minutes and 12 seconds, and mercy, grace, favor, joy, and peace was released in a greater way. Eugene Bear on YouTube. Love you. Bye.